uh, the reason I do a lot of these interviews is I want to really encourage artists that are coming up that maybe have not, you know, found their 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 stride yet. Um, and with me recently finding my stride, and, and after years and years and years of uh, nothing, you know, slow nothings, that it's like the ball's finally rolling. Like I, I like to encourage artists to say, hey, you know, like it's possible. Just it's going to be a stupid amount of work, and if you're willing to put in that work, it's it's possible, right? So. Um, I'd love to know your perspective. It, like one thing that you it, you learned, like that, that you know now that you wish you could have told your, yourself, you know, 20, 20 years ago, fifteen years ago, kind of thing. Yep. Um, the hard one. Uh, I I don't have a lot of advice as far as telling people how to get in the door. But sure. I do have some thoughts on once you get your opportunity. Um, stuff I wish I would have figured out early on. Um, as far as a music director, if you're interested in that role. It's, it's literally, it's, it's all about serving. You're literally like, you're basically a server at a restaurant. You're a server. It's your job to serve the fans, the artists you're working for. Excuse me. <coughs> um, it's really dry here in California. Yeah. Um, and I've found it's really important to have a musical outlet for your artistry. You know, my, mm. you know, I don't sit at home and listen to Kelly Clarkson all day long. It's not. You know, I'm a huge fan of her voice and I love everything we've done together, but it's not the style of music I gravitate towards. And so I have some side projects where that's where I get out my artistry. Um, it's, it's frustrating hiring musicians. Like early on in the Kelly stuff, we had those guys come in and it's like always trying to cool it up. It's like, well, that's that's a dumb part. You know, like, what if we do it more like this? We're going to make this cool band guy stuff. And it's like, no, I'm sorry. That's, you know you're here to promote a record and you're serving the artist, not your own needs. Mm. Um, and, and skill is definitely important. And I know we all still work on our craft and that, that never stops, but I've literally never fired. A, I've never fired a player yet based upon their skill. It's always a personality or an interaction thing, but your skill is definitely important, but your ability to work with a variety of people and teams living together, close quarters, having a great attitude. That's really 99% of, Successful music. Being a people person, 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. I'd love to hear you mentioned, you know, once you have your foot in the door, the, the tips you have on that. Um, yeah, well, it, going back to something you said later on, and I'm not saying you said something weird, but um, I would never look at any job as a lateral move or an up move or a down move. Like, I've, I've been a fan of just saying, I've, you know, I always tell people never say no to a meeting, never say no to a something. And even like a little small side little thing that could always lead into something else, something else, something else. You know, you never know who you're going to meet. And um, a lot of these, a lot of the people that I met early on who might have been a second crew assistant are now lighting designers or now front of house guys or now working in management companies. And so relationship is everything. And so I would just take as much opportunities and gigs from the smallest of clubs to you know just keep playing keep playing keep playing and absolutely it's frustrating for people to hear because there's just there's just not a magic way to break through and every you've interviewed so many people every story is completely different you know? yeah a hundred percent but it, it's very rare that it's done by checking off all the right boxes yeah you know? but you know what the boxes do you get checked off every every single person that i've asked that question to it, it all comes down to relationships you got to be a good person like you like you even said that you, you know, doesn't your skill matters to some degree but it's not as important as how you are as a person how you develop these relationships and you know fostering relationships or even to some degree abusing relationships too like you know nobody yeah. likes a person that acts too much of people you know like it's it's very yeah. it's it's all a balance of relationships for a hundred percent yeah yeah and then and another part for me is just i've never never be too proud to know what your weaknesses are. You know, and, and I'm not saying don't take chances. Like, you know, my first answer is somebody says, can you do this? I'm like, yes. And I'm gonna go try to figure it out whether or not I've ever done it before. Um, but, you know, even in producing the stuff I'm working on with Kelly right now, there's a couple of songs I hired another piano player on. It's like, I could have done it, but I just know this person's gonna be better for this job, you know, than me. So there's no, again, when you're serving the project, the artist, you know, your personal ego, just can't be there if you're trying to deliver the best product and i just I, I feel like doing the best for the song is more important than making the extra little bucks to be the guy that played on it i couldn't agree more 
Absolutely. I think that it's so important as an artist. And I think it's to some degree, like, you know, even as a songwriter, too, it's like, oh, I want to be the songwriter, the only songwriter on the song. It's like, well, yeah, cool. But do you want six people to hear it or 60,000 people to hear it? You know, like, yeah. it's like, yeah. where do you want to, you know, like, so absolutely, yeah. man. It's, it's, yeah. I agree with a lot of the stuff you're saying, man. So. Thank <laughs> you.